Coming up, we have the story on last night's mayoral debate in Waterloo. And Warburg's library hours have changed. Plus, we'll give you one of the best views of Iowa. This is Cedar Valley Today. Welcome to Cedar Valley Today. I'm Michael Benson. And I'm Alyssa Kozak. Last night in downtown Waterloo, the mayoral debate took place in the CU restaurant and the cellar. The debates were between the five runners for the office of the mayor. Candidates Frank Magsiman, Quentin Hart, Tim Hurley, Leah Morrison, and Wayne Natham all addressed questions regarding what Waterloo needs the most. From as short as the new city council to a list of things that must be addressed one by one. The vote will be next month on November 3rd. Vogel Library is where most students go to study, hang out at the Conditorite, check out laptops, bikes, and much more. However, this year, the library has changed its hours. It now closes at 5 on Friday and Saturday and doesn't open until 1 on Saturday and Sunday. As a result, this could affect most students' study schedules. The hours change came directly as a consequence of some staffing reductions that happened at the library. Um, in like January 1st, 2015, we lost our circulation supervisor position. Today, 207 people and 70 employers will come together on the campus of Hawkeye Community College for their fifth annual Diversity Inclusion Executive Summit. This year's gathering will feature two keynote presentations on employing people with disabilities and transgender issues and a play dealing with social issues such as race and stereotyping. It's a free event and a great opportunity to network with other businesses in the Cedar Valley. Workshop registration closes today. We're really trying to build an awareness in the community. We're not simply trying to say we're the ones doing diversity and inclusion. There's so much going on in the community outside just our event. So we're not simply trying to make sure people come to our events and listen to what we have to say. We're trying to build this conversation around it and partner with people in the community to build an awareness of the issue. Coming up next, we'll take a look at a modern part of northeastern Iowa's landscape. Stay with us. Welcome back. This morning we wrap up our three-part series, Iowa Adventure. Today we visit the countryside of Greeley and Edgewood to take a look at their turbines. It, it, the wind is free and we have a good area here where the wind blows a lot and we might as well take advantage of that. In the skyline between Greeley and Edgewood, Iowa, you will find the home of Elk Wind Industries and their turbines. Our crew got the rare opportunity to climb to the top of one of the turbines and experience the height of these machines. It takes about 10 minutes to get 300 feet and a few ladders to reach the top. Not only do turbines produce clean energy, they also hold some of the best views. These big, beautiful towers don't run all on their own. Regular maintenance must be done in order for clean energy to be produced. Josh Moore helps keep the turbines running smoothly. I mean, when you come in on Monday, I mean, you're not going to know what your week's going to be. But with a job like this, there must be precautions taken. The staff is required to have daily safety meetings and equipment checks to make sure no tragedies happen on the clock. Working may be dangerous, but following protocol makes it safe and rewarding. I mean, what we're doing is dangerous, um, you know, working at heights, electricity. And with big machines, come big tools. 
some weighing as much as 80 pounds. Imagine carrying that up a 300-foot tower. When Kevin and his crew arrived, they worked with local landowners and farmers and found the perfect homes for the turbines. And they welcomed us op with open arms. So that, that was, that's great. It makes you feel like uh, you want to be around here and do something. And these folks, they're Midwesterners, and they're very easy to get along with. And I told them this is probably one of the easiest projects I've ever worked on um, as far as the farmer group out here in, in the Edgewood and Greeley area. So It began with shared interest, and soon a strong relationship between the community and Elkwind Industries formed. Jay Funky and Bob Phillip, both landowners with turbines, agreed that the process was painless and well worth it. All the negotiations pretty much were taken care of privately, but when we got together, it didn't make a difference what we shared because we were all on the same page. Once Elk Wind gained community support, construction started, and soon the skyline began to take shape with Elk Wind turbines. The other thing that I look at this for our community is, is each one of these windmills took approximately two to three million dollars to build. And that adds a nice property tax base for our county and for our school districts. Next time you see a turbine on the horizon, know that Iowa is number one in wind energy. Coming up, we'll take a look at what's trending in social media. We'll be back in just a bit. What's next for your future? Will it be worth it? Will it lead you on a journey of discovery? to embrace your passions, unlock your potential, and realize your purpose. With Warburg, you can. And you will, because you are worth it. Warburg, worth it. Schedule your campus visit and learn how Warburg is worth it at warburg.edu slash worth it. Now a look at what's trending on social media. The Waterloo Police Department and Cedar Valley Crime Stoppers are asking for the public's help in identifying two women in the picture. According to the Waterloo Police Department, the two women are suspected of allegedly passing a counterfeit bill at the Waterloo Menards. Anyone with information is asked to call the Waterloo Police Department or Cedar Valley Crime Stoppers. Harvest season is underway and the Waverly Police Department would like to remind motorists to use more caution and patience when traveling around farm trucks, tractors, combines, and other farm implements. Most farm equipment travel 15 to 25 miles per hour and are often wider than other vehicles. Tonight at the home football game, the WSR football team and coaches are joining in the National Coaches vs. Cancer program. The program is sponsored by the American Cancer Society. Please remember to wear pink as the football team has also added pink to their uniforms. Now let's take a quick look at your weather. Are you a high school senior passionate about becoming a writer, producer, editor, or even a cinematographer? Warper College's Department of Journalism and Communication wants students like you to join our award-winning creative community. We've created a digital cinema and production program centered on real-world experiences with a goal of helping you master digital skills in video, audio, and live production. You'll have the opportunity to work in our digital production control room, live recording studios, and have access to our full line of digital cinema gear. This program is designed for digital creatives who want to explore areas such as screenwriting, producing and directing, digital cinematography and lighting design, music production and digital audio recording, live video production and streaming. We're committed to training the next generation of digital storytellers. For more information about Warburg's Department of Journalism and Communication, find us online and on Facebook. We're just about a year away from election 2016 and the race is already heated. With Iowa hosting the first caucus scheduled for February 1st, party leaders are beginning to endorse candidates. Joining me now is Iowa's youngest Democratic County Party Chair, Taylor Vandekerl of Jasper County. Thank you for joining me, Taylor. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so for those who do not know, can you tell us what exactly is a Democratic Party Chair and what role do you play in the Iowa caucus? Absolutely. So county parties are the most local parties that you can get. So the county party is comprised of 
individuals who are activists that want to get involved in politics. And so they're part of a central committee. So Jasper County Democrats have a central committee. And then um, the next line up goes to a district. So you have four districts in Iowa, the first district, second district, third and fourth. And they have a congressman. And then the next level is uh, the state party. Um, and they have a state central committee. And then the next one is obviously um, the Democratic National Committee. So we're the more local level. So I'm just the head of uh, the Jasper County Democrats. Okay, and you decided to endorse former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley for president. While many your age are beginning to rally behind Bernie Sanders, why O'Malley? Well, I think that um, Governor O'Malley is the best Democratic candidate for um, for president, Dan. And there's a lot of people that are supporting um, Senator Sanders, but I want somebody who can win in the general election. And quite frankly, I think Governor O'Malley can do it. He has a great resume. Um, when he was governor of Maryland for eight years, he raised the minimum wage. He um, passed marriage equality. Um, he made the public public schools number one in the nation for five years in a row. And I think Iowans can relate to that because we have a governor who um, cut public funding uh, by 50 million Million, million dollars in July. And so um, he understands the importance of making sure that college is affordable. And um, coming from someone who uh, just graduated from Simpson College, uh, Go Storm, uh, uh, last year, I think that uh, I, I came out with $75,000 in student loan debt. And I had interest rates as high as 10.5% for private loans. And Governor O'Malley has a very detail oriented goal-driven strategy on how he wants to get elected and the things he wants to do. And one of those things is he wants the opportunity for those that have graduated to re refinance their loans from, from private to federal. Um, with federal loans, you have seven different options of repaying your student loans. For private loans, they say, here's a bill, you got to pay it or, or, or else. And so um, Governor O'Malley, I think, is the best candidate. And quite frankly, I think he can win the general election. And I want someone who can who can um, help the help the party up and down the ticket? Because quite frankly, I want to see more Democrats get elected to the state house. You are passionate about getting young people involved in politics. Do you think O'Malley has the potential to rally young voters like Obama did in two thousand eight? I think I think two thousand eight was a very interesting uh, caucus. You had two hundred and forty, I want to say two hundred forty thousand people show up for the caucuses in two thousand eight, which was historic. Um, I don't think you'll have that many this time around, um, but I do think that he can definitely rally the troops. I see a lot of people in central Iowa, a lot of young progressives that are backing him, because quite frankly, um, we want to see Democrats get elected in November, and I think that Governor O'Malley can do it. Okay, well, thank you for joining me this morning. If you want to Absolutely, follow, thank you so much. Sorry, if you want to follow Taylor online, you can find him on his Medium blog. We have that link posted on our Facebook page and on the screen below. Coming up, we'll look at what the, to do this weekend. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Let's take a look at your top five weekend events. Start your weekend right by attending BYU's a cappella group Vocal Point tonight. They will be in Warburg's Newman Auditorium at 7.30 p.m. Attend Little Shop of Horrors, Horrors either Friday or Saturday night at 7 p.m. at the Waterloo Center for the Arts. Also on the Saturday is the UNI homecoming football game at 4 p.m. in the Dome. On Sunday, you can enjoy the Northeast Iowa Steel Guitar Show at 10 a.m. and a cemetery walk in the Greenwood Cemetery at 2 p.m. Looks like a great weekend to be out and about and getting involved in Cedar Valley. I'd say so. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Be sure to download our app and link or like us on Facebook. Have a great weekend, Cedar Valley.